In Activity 2, Mixing Pigments, students mix different colors of pigments and observe the new colors that form. They then discover how and why certain colors, when mixed together, form certain other colors. Finally, they learn the significance of the primary colors of pigments. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 2, dropper bottles, toothpicks, mixing trays, and blue, green, red, and yellow food coloring. You will also need to provide color wheel from Activity 1, white paper towels, and tap water. To prepare for this activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 2 for each student. Each student will also need his or her color wheel from Activity 1. Prepare a set of dropper bottles filled with blue, green, red, and yellow colored water for each team of students. Put 10 drops of a different color food coloring into each of the four bottles. Then fill the bottles with tap water, snap the tips into place, and screw on the caps. Next, prepare a chart as shown in Figure 2-2. Leave several blank rows at the bottom of the chart for additional combinations that the students come up with. Each team will need a set of four dropper bottles filled with colored water, a mixing tray, about 20 toothpicks, and some white paper towels. To begin the activity, bring the student's attention to the chart you prepared and ask, what do you think will happen when red and blue water are mixed? Record their predictions, but do not reveal the correct answer. Next, divide the class into teams of four and distribute the materials. Give each student a copy of Activity Sheet 2 and review the instructions as a class. Students will test and observe color combinations by touching the stirring end of their toothpick to a white paper towel. To ensure the best results, students should use a new toothpick for every combination of colors and wipe the tray wells completely clean before mixing new colors. Give students time to try all of the combinations as well as those they have come up with on their own. Remind them to predict what colors they will get before actually mixing them. Students will discover that combining two or more colors results in a different color from either of the original colors. Then, discuss the results as a class. The students should agree that red and blue form violet, red and yellow form orange, Red and green form brown, blue and yellow form green, blue and green form dark green, and yellow and green form light green. After you have recorded the results for all of the two color combinations, ask the class what were some of the other color combinations you tested? What were your results? They should have noticed that most combinations of more than two colors yield brown or black. Next, ask students, why do you think mixing different colors makes new colors? Have them recall that light is composed of many colors. Inform students that the color of an object is a result of pigments in the object. Pigments make objects appear colored by absorbing most of the colors of light that hit them and reflecting the rest so that the colors we see are those that a pigment reflects. Go on to explain that colors combine to form new colors because pigments do not actually absorb every color of light other than the color they appear to be. Red pigment, for example, also reflects some orange and violet light, but our eyes see the mixture of light as simply red. Refer to figure 2-1C and ask students, when you mix red and blue, why do you think you get violet? Students should see that only violet light is reflected by both pigments. Therefore, the mixture looks like violet. This method is known as subtractive color mixing. Color is created by combining pigments that together remove more colors from white light and reflect fewer colors. Next, distribute the color wheels and have students review their activity sheets while studying the positions of the colors on their color wheels. 
Ask students, what colors of light do you think are absorbed and reflected by the yellow and green pigments? Students should respond that yellow pigment reflects yellow and a little bit of green and orange light. Yellow pigment absorbs red, violet, and blue. Green pigment reflects green and a little bit of yellow and blue, but our eyes perceive only the green light. Then ask, why do you think that red mixed with green makes black? Students will see that when all colors of light are absorbed by pigments and none is reflected, the resulting color looks black. Lastly, ask students, do you think you can make any of the original four colors by mixing other colors? Students should understand that only green can be made by combining blue and yellow. Explain that red, blue, and yellow are referred to as the primary colors of pigment because they can be combined in different amounts to form any color in the spectrum, but they themselves cannot be formed by combining other colors. Finally, challenge the teams to choose red, blue, or yellow, add another color to it, and then try to get the mixture to turn back to the original color. They will see that it is not possible to get back to a primary color, although adding a large amount of the original primary color will dilute the presence of the second color and bring the color close to its original hue. To conclude the activity, collect the color wheels and discard the toothpicks. Wash the mixing trays and dropper bottles. Return all the materials and the dropper bottles filled with blue, red, and yellow colored water to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.